The 21st century civilization has faced dramatic challenges related to the ecology and welfare of every single person. Outstanding scientists and gifted engineers are busy solving actual problems, applying innovative technologies, and implementing incredible projects. Giant solar stations, shoes from wastes, and hydrogen trucks are just the most extraordinary achievements. We will introduce them to you in our current release. You are watching the Innovative Tech Channel. So, let's begin. Hyundai H2 Scient Heavy Duty Trucks Shifting from automobiles with internal combustion engines to electric vehicles has been a popular topic for recent years. However, Hyundai engineers believe that hydrogen fuel elements can revolutionize the transport industry even more. They have invented H2 Scient trucks, routing in Switzerland already. A 190 kilowatt capacity allows them to pass up to 400 kilometers, about 250 miles, with a single charge. They use eco-friendly hydrogen produced with the electrolysis method. Switzerland has everything required for that as more than half of electric power there is generated by hydroelectric stations. Hyundai engineers state that hydrogen fuel elements in trucks bring more benefits compared to accumulator batteries. The performance of electric transport significantly drops when heavy cargo transportation is in question. The automobile company hopes that the cost inputs for hydrogen production will have dramatically reduced by 2030, and then the advantages of Hyundai H2 Zient will be obvious. Loon 4G Internet Despite the rapid expansion of the virtual network on our planet, many areas still cannot afford high-speed access to the global web. The Alphabet Holding is working out the Loon project that is supposed to solve the poor internet connectivity issue in remote regions. It involves giant hot air balloons, stratostats hovering 20 kilometers or 66 feet in the sky. They have transmitting devices securing internet connection via 4G. A similar project is implemented in Kenya right now. The company's hot air balloons will cover the area of 50,000 square kilometers or 19,305 square miles. The testing showed the incoming data stream speed of 18.9 megabit per second with the outgoing data stream of 4.74 megabit per second. Remarkably, hot air balloons can analyze the weather and move in stratosphere winds on their own. They operate in the air for 100 days and then undergo technical maintenance. Delivery Drones Volens I Urgent cargo delivery to rural areas has always been an actual issue to study. The developers of the multifunctional Volan I drone intend not only to solve the problem but make it economically beneficial. They constructed the UAV with deep attention to detail. The device launches and lands vertically, so there is no specific infrastructure needed. The drone finds its way via an advanced navigation system, instantly transmitting the location data and current route. Volan I achieves 320 km an hour, about 200 miles per hour in the flight and it covers up to 800 kilometers with a single charge. The maximum useful loading makes 9 kilograms or 20 pounds. These figures are not record-setting, but the cargo capacity is enough to transport separate details, medications, or food products to remote areas. The UAV can even land on the ship in the open sea when necessary. Bio Inc., a Rutgers University project. Rutgers University scientists are going to revolutionize transplantation and suggest it to print organs just inside the body. They are creating bioink with quite extraordinary properties for this purpose. The possibilities of modern 3D printers enable us to print bones for quite a long time, separate organs or blood vessels. However, they require surgery for implantation, with high risks of foreign material distortion. That's why scientists suggest printing organs inside the human body with bioink. The ink must be highly universal to create various tissues and thus to reproduce nearly any organ. A major problem in creating bioink has been already solved as the scientists found a composition that solidifies at 36.6 degrees Celsius or 96.8 Fahrenheit. The next task relates to biologically programmed components reproducing human organ tissues, completely corresponding to the body's needs. Sail Drone Sea Drones Oceanographic data have always been hard to retrieve for scientists, fishing enterprises, and shipping companies. This is why the sailing X-Racer Richard Jenkins got excited with an extraordinary idea. 
Together with his colleagues, he invented the sail drone unmanned vehicles that can operate in any climatic conditions and can get to the most remote corners of our planet. Outside, the drone looks like a futuristic sailing boat that allows remote ocean observation. It has 40 meteorological and oceanographic sensors, constantly collecting data on the environment. It charges from solar batteries installed on the drone body. The remote control and GPS tracker enable the timely correction of the vehicle's route. Sail drone moves with a durable sail made of carbon fiber. The drone passes around 100 kilometers or 2 miles of the established route in 24 hours. Desert Tech Solar Power Plants The famous physicist Gerhard Nies got seriously interested in the idea to construct giant solar power plants in the desert in 1987. He calculated that 1% of the unsuitable for life desert territories in Sahara can provide the whole African continent with cheap electricity. As technologies develop, this network is supposed to satisfy the electric power needs of the entire humankind. Despite the promising project, the scientific society didn't support Nice's idea. However, the situation got a new spin in 2006. Nice did get the support of his scientific colleagues and attracted big companies with his idea. The Desert Tech project emerged in 2009 and it was designed as the world's biggest network of solar power stations. Its implementation requires about 400 mil art, but the profit it can bring is greatly promising. Desert Tech is to generate up to 100 gigawatts of eco-friendly electricity. It is the capacity of 100 ordinary power stations. Remarkably, the project will not only produce cheap electricity, but solve the problem of poor freshwater supply in Northern Africa. To bring this idea to life, they need to construct a chain of desalination plants to supply demineralized water to electric power stations. Desert Tech solar panels will generate power for their work. The electrical network will deploy its full capacity by 2050, and the total area of the project will make 14,500 square kilometers, or 5,600 square miles. Raw Lemon Solar Batteries we used to consider that solar batteries are flat and their possibilities are limited. The raw lemon startup intends to change the game rules, inventing an innovative type of energy element in this category. To achieve this goal, the German architect Andre Bressel designed a futuristic construction with a huge spherical lens. It focuses the solar energy on a specific photoelectrical panel and synchronously follows the sun. The raw lemon company developed several models of this device. The leader was named Beta Ray 1.8. It is a construction with a double axis fixation of the lens 180 centimeters or 71 inches in diameter. Unlike the previous models, the acrylic lens in this solar battery is filled with water and thus can generate up to 3.4 kilowatts per hour per day. Raw Lemon engineers accentuate that the extraordinary construction of the device significantly boosts its performance. Besides, the project is highly scalable and it allows expanding the geography of the beta ray applications.